Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? I just wanted to stop by, give you all some great news. Um, on Sunday, uh, I went to Chapel Hill Amy Zion Church for Women's Day, and it was so awesome. I had a wonderful time there, met some wonderful ladies, and had a great word there. And um, I also did some of my poetry there, and in doing so, um, it was a lady there from uh, North Carolina State Coalition um, Council of Negro Women. And uh, she wanted uh, to know, we ran to each other in the bathroom, and she wanted to know um, who wrote the poem. And I told her that I did, and she just loved it, and she wanted to uh, get a copy of it. So she wanted me to leave her information, uh, actually leave my information with um with the sister there, Nikki Harris, to um give her the inf my information so she could get the poem. But um what it, what ended up happening was uh she ended up asking me about uh coming to a conference to uh actually read my poem and um uh, I have read this poem on here before but never in front of you all as an audience. I'm a very nervous person. And I was so nervous up there in front of all these people. And I just knew that I did awful. Um, I am going to share my poem with you that I read, even though I have read it on here before with you all, but I was not in front of you all. I had the camera not on me. Um, I found, you know, I'm just starting to really get comfortable with having the camera on me doing some of my things, but um, a lot of times, no. So we'll see how it goes. But this is what I read. His queen. Let me talk to you about being his queen. Yes, I am his queen. And he loves me every day. He, lo he tells me every day, you are my beautiful mahogany queen. Yes, I am his queen. He lifts up my spirit when I am feeling down. Yes, I am his queen. I can't live without him. I am his queen and everyone around me knows I am his queen. He brought me through some mighty storms and he saw fit to die on the cross for me so I would have the choice of eternal life. For these reasons, I know I am his queen. He thought of me as a queen when I was doing all kinds of ungodly things. And I was still his queen. I just didn't realize at that time I was a queen. Yes, I am his beautiful mahogany queen. Ladies, we are all special to him. You are one of his beautiful queens just as I am. Yes, I am his queen. Remember, ladies, you are indeed one of his beautiful queens. You are his queen just as I am. I am his queen, ladies. We are all beautiful queens in his eyes. Ladies, yes, indeed, we are all his beautiful queens by Bernie McDougal, me, BMAC. It's a little nervous. I messed up some there, but I kept going. And um, I was so surprised when they um, gave us um, uh, a little gift of appreciation. I wasn't expecting anything. But I was so surprised and um, I was really happy with the gift that I got because I love to write. So let me share my gift with you all. My gifts, let me share them. So, um, it's my little bag. Here it is. See, uh, got a book here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it says, Walk by Faith. Walk by Faith. So I like this book. I love to write. So this this was just, oh, it was so awesome for me to get. And I sure appreciate it. Thank you, ladies. And then, what lady don't like to smell good? Some body ecology. And I think it's the it's cherry blossom. So every lady likes to smell good, right? Right. And then we have... Some more body ecology, little spray, and this is also cherry blossom. 
So, mm hmm it's going to be smelling nice, girl. It's going to be smelling nice. And, of course, we need to make sure these hands are sanitized. So, here it is. And I just absolutely love my gift and appreciate my gift. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Nikki Harris and Renisha Harris. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the gift. And I just appreciate you all allowing me to come and um, do my poem. And thank you, Ren Harris, as well, for allowing me. That's the pastor of the church. So if you get a chance, go out to the church. And it's called Chapel Hill AME Zion Church. Come out and worship. It's an awesome church. Thank you.